Yo, what is up? It is your boy Cyril the Entertainer and I'm back and I'm here to stay. Today we got something a little different, not just standard reaction. I already know about what's gonna go down in this video and what my boy Moist Critical Charlie is gonna be talking about here. And so apparently one of Pokemon's editors, I'm saying one of them because I'm pretty sure it's multiple, does some strange things while trying to edit for her and that's why he be delaying some of the uploads and stuff like that or, or the time that he needs to send the stuff to her. Video is 14 minutes long. We're about to just see what else Moist Critical will reveal for us. I don't, I don't know if he will reveal anything new, but from what I just said now, that's the only thing I know. So let's get into it. Experience I've had that's somewhat similar to the one she describes here, at least in terms of creepiness. And, uh, well, now I finally have a reason to get that baby off my chest here. So that's going to be okay. cathartic. Let's dive in. Many, many years ago, mm -hmm. when so I, I like seen this, I seen Omega this active on YouTube and I was working with a lot of different editors. There was mm -hmm. one editor in particular that I would work with a lot because his edits were really, really good. Oh, I didn't even know that part. Uh, so I didn't pay attention when I first seen this clip. I didn't even pay attention to the fact that she worked with this person in particular because the edits were good. I didn't pay attention to that at all. I just know the later thing that she's about to reveal. But he had one major problem, which was that sometimes out of nowhere, his videos would just be like a week or two late. Months go by and he messages me out of the blue and he says, hey, do you have time to talk? I'm ready to finally tell you why I've been struggling so much with deadlines. Tell me why he proceeds to tell me that the reason why he would sometimes mm, turn talk around to me, Pokemon. videos a week or two late talk to me. is because he couldn't stop touching himself. I was trying to pick which word to use. Right there. This is crazy. Like, that man couldn't get this information out of me. I ain't going to lie, bro. I would have kept that information to myself. I would have kept that to the grave. I don't know why. I don't know what made him just give that information up. I would have just lied. I would have just said, yo, I got a lot, of, a lot of shit going on in my scheduling. But I'll get to your stuff in a bit. I would have just came up with a lie. I would have never revealed that. To me, his, in a way, employer of many, many months. Stop for a second and really let that stew in your noodle. And then, that's another thing, too. He, I, and I'm pretty sure he's about, to, he's about to get into it. For months. You've been, you've been, you've hired this person as editor for months. And he's just now coming to you to talk about this. This is insane. Let it marinate for a bit. But, uh -huh. How coomer brained must you be? Not only to do this degenerate act of just fucking beating your meat to a streamer's gameplay footage that you're editing. Right, that's what I'm saying. But then tell her that the reason you're late on some of the edits is because you can't stop squeezing your hog to the footage that she sends you. <laughs> squeezing your hog is crazy. There are so many layers to this onion here. Let's just start by picking apart the most obvious why. L why that's what i'm saying like why though like i have i have one theory as to why i want to see if he gets to it before i get to it now i know in the most severe cases of porn addicts they'll sometimes try and oh yes yes communicate directly to the porn star by like leaving comments or sending messages or whatever and that's always the saddest shit you'll ever see that'll bring a tear to even the strongest man's eyes it can that's so crazy that that's the first thing he attacks with. That's literally what I was thinking. I'm like, yo, the only thing I can think of is, is actually two things. I, I thought of two things. And I don't know if he's going to say the second one. I'm pretty sure he's going to stick to this first part. But the fact that people that overly watches corn, they probably in their minds, like, if I tell her I, I beat off to this, that's probably going to turn her on at the fact that she's turning me on. No, that's not how it works. That's not how it works. She not going to be turned on by that fact that you getting off on it. Like, what? That's that's not how it works, bro. But in, in the mind of someone that overly watches and, and overly stimulates themselves with that, 
that's what that's what tends to happen when my wife goes to bed that's when the bad boy will play thanks for for providing me with tonight's entertainment whatever (laughs) like just leaving these desperate posts you know cock in hand giving a salute like thank you madame for your service this will be a legendary gooning sesh but even in those cases and it and and like he said too and and what i was thinking the entire time this is just gameplay footage like he's just or not gameplay footage i'm sorry she's just playing video games she's not doing anything unique i don't think she's wearing anything provocative so it's like what is it about you watching her is is turning bro on like i don't i don't know now let me let me continue watching before i I say my second thing is they're communicating with someone they don't know this guy was her editor for many months and he was not only jerking off to the the content he was being sent which was just gameplay videos i imagine or like just chatting stream moments right nothing even sexual and he was still choking the chicken to it fucking playing the skin flute and then had the gall to tell her that he was doing that is just incomprehensibly unhinged. It, it is unhinged. And I'm glad he said that word unhinged because my second thing is I I feel like it's either he watches too much corn. And so in his brain, like I said before, telling her that he's getting turned on by her. He thinks that in return, she'll be turned on by it. And my second th- thought is he just dead ass don't care. Now that's gangster. Like if he if he don't care, that's gangster. I'm not gonna lie. That's gangster. Just be like, I'm not gonna lie, Pokemon. I be I be being to your shit. That's why I've been that's why I've been late with the uploads or, or sending the uploads to you. That's gangster. But something tells me it's the latter. Something tells me it's the other thought process of it all. She was his boss. She was employing him. So he basically went right through HR, Right, he was getting paid. Right. Protocol, went straight to the top of the food chain, kicked in the door, and said, Listen, boss, I'm fucking obliterating my wiener. And what are you going to do about it? That's why I've been late on my deadlines. Like, I don't think he came in with that. That's why I'm late. I'll be beating this shit. I'll be beating this shit. And that's why I'm late to send you this shit. That's why. Like, you gotta be a crazy motherfucker to just admit that, bro. Like, like you you at the top, my nigga. My nigga. You're editing for a Pokemon. Like, you're getting paid off this. And I'm pretty sure she probably cut ties after this. Like, I, I don't know. Energy, I bet he was, like, super shy about it. He was probably like, oh, Pokemon. So, I know I've been kind of late recently, but it's only because I was beating it Ooh, how do you say jerking off to your work (laughs) when i tell you i've never halted a conversation so fast because i'm like you are the person that i send like hours of footage to i don't want to know what you're jacking it to i don't want to know more i shouldn't i shouldn't even know how much i know right now i shouldn't know I'd actually argue that it's better she did know this, no matter how awful it is. <laughs> yeah, nah, he, yeah, he should have, he should have definitely revealed what, what was it that just had him lust over that shit, like. I... But that way she can get the fuck away from this weirdo ASAP. Just say, take a hike, Buster. This is fucking terrible. But mm-hmm. I felt so bad. So when he's like. You know, like this is like an addiction of mine. I genuinely, I genuinely. Oh no, it is the latter. Oh no, an addiction, man. Ah, uh, fuck. Okay, felt continue really, on. really bad. So I still paid him for months. <laughs> what the hell do I do? Fire him? Am I even allowed to fire someone? Cause they're. <laughs> oh, so okay, okay, so he still got the. Jo- let bygones be bygones, son. I thought, I thought, I thought she fired him after that, like just revealing that, like, all right, listen, you're no longer getting any footage from me. That that's a wrap. That's a wrap. But apparently not. That's definitely towards the top of the list for the best reasons to fire someone. That actually might be reason number one why you could go ahead and can somebody because they right. can't stop fucking beating their cock to you. They're to 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 her and then that's causing a whole ass delay and and i mean again it's only one of the editors but it sounds like this is one of the top editors so you need to like keep it in your pants dog like put it away put away the corn for a bit like 
I ain't even saying don't indulge in it, bro. Like you can just not as often. It's cause that something like that sounds like it's it's a constant thing. So like you gotta just put it down. Employer. And they're also not doing their job well by being one to two weeks late. Which by the way is right. a long time, time of for... just fucking gooning here. Yeah. This degenerate <laughs> would miss his deadlines by a week or even up to two weeks because he was obsessively polishing his scepter to his employer. Polishing was... it? Come on. <laughs> polishing it though? can and should fire someone like this. It's not like the Better Business Bureau is going to defend him. You're not going to have agents show up at your door knocking and be like, Hey, listen. We know what happened here. You discriminated against this kind gentle sir. You fired him just because he was obsessively masturbating to you. <laughs> well, I'll have you know this is a free country, ma'am. Right. This is a civilized society. You can't fire someone for that. There's no crime. What is the charge? Busting a nut? An immaculate gooey <laughs> nut? Oh this my god. Is democracy. The language he's using for, for like this itchy is crazy. Manifest. Yeah, no, I, I can definitely see why Pokemon hesitated in firing him because it's like in that situation, what what is it that you do? Like what he's he's confessing to you, like, oh, the reason I haven't really been active with the work and sending you it sending you it on time is because I've been wha I've been whacking off. And it's like, oh, okay, but this is your top editor. What what do you what do you do? So it's like, mm. So yeah, so I I could understand from her perspective as to why she hesitated in firing this person, and I could also see, and everyone can else everyone else can see from the outside like oh I would have just fired that person, but it's it's a lot different from looking looking at it from the outside and those two people that actually are in communication Pokemon and and this editor. Personal level here, it's just a little harder to do that. So I do understand that, but. Again, definitely the right course was firing that guy. In my situation, eventually what I did was I just stopped responding. If he did send me one of those messages, I would reply just telling him he needs professional help and I won't I won't talk further about these kind of right, things. Right, right. Tell, tell bro, get professional help. We're, even though we're making jokes and shit, get professional help from that shit. Real, real shit. Like, get yourself some therapy. Talk it out. Talk it out with your bros, your friends, all that. And, and yeah, really get that shit sorted out. Because, like I said, I don't know if he is already fired by now. And if he is, but you just you just lost yourself a job because of that. You just lost yourself a source of income from that. And I've, I'd say the more, the more income, the better, obviously. But yeah, anyway, just kind of wanted to talk about all this. That's about it. Boom. Yeah, not... Nah, Big facts, Charlie. Big facts. I'm glad that we had the same thoughts and certain things and certain aspects of this whole situation. Because, yeah, this shit is crazy, son. This shit is crazy. Uh, moral of the story, though, bro, get help. You know what I'm saying? Or if you just did it because you thought you was gangster, you know, you was just like, ah, fuck it, whatever it is, what it is. That's cool, too. But I, you know, I, I still say get help at the end of the day with, with something like that on some real shit. And with that being said, if you like the video, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't like the video, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to your boy. Helps your boy out a lot. And I will see you in the next one. Peace. Even bro, yeah, we gone. How do you know this time for? It's a cool year, ain't no reason why we ain't balling up. Yeah, I've been calling these niggas my brother, but we always fall.